Hi everybody, it's Marcus here, and today we're back with some more Marcus lessons. Today's episode, we'll talk about Kirby right back at ya, and we'll talk about how much Kirby can eat, but this time, we're gonna talk about how much he has eaten over the series. So anyways, let's get started. We're starting out with the first episode of the whole entire series, Kirby come to Cap- comes to Cappy Town. So let's play with the video, or play the video, to see what happens. <laughs> Cappy Town, I know I speak for everyone when I say that we're pleased and proud to welcome our honored guest, the mighty star warrior Kirby. I can speak for myself, thank you. <laughs> we all know that, Chief Bookum. Let's hurry up and eat. Kirby doesn't understand what you're saying anyway. Then let's dig in, shall we? Yep, Kirby has eaten everything. In a quick <laughs> He has gained 76 pounds accordingly after he ate the table and spat out the spoon. Well, let's continue on to the next one. And seriously, he ate meat. And yeah, he gained like three more pounds after that. Which is weird for a curb to actually eat all the meat. And he didn't even eat tomato and leaves. Accordingly, when Kirby ate this, seriously, that face, that face is after he eats. And th- accordingly, he gained like 10 more pounds from that, which is just pretty weird. And when Kirby ate the pizza, he gained another 6 pounds. And when Kirby ate the dumpling, the hot sauce dumpling, he gained 4 more pounds. That means, hmm, well, I'm gonna do the math later, but moving on. Yeah. So a gome put a special ingredient in that day of stuff. Whoever eats it gets an intense appetite for pink round things. <laughs> yeah, the three times that Kirby eats it, that means he gained nine more pounds. That will fire you up! And yeah, what do you mean Kirby's... Kirby right back at ya. That was just the first half. And now we're moving on. Now we're moving on to Max and Ruby's Bunny Bake Off. Yep. Bunny Bake Off. So yeah. So let's get started. Then we'll yeah, need some lemon here. juice. Each of the things that happens in this when you make the Ruby lemonade or the pink lemonade here with Ruby's dish. It's very complicated to say. Some mint leaves. Yep, mint leaves. Which would mean that it makes 60% basil. And some freshly cut <coughs> strawberries. Yeah, freshly cut. A 60 ton pound device. Sorry, I made a scooby doo going on my reference, but yeah. Accordingly, some of the lemons actually weigh 8 pounds. <laughs> really, it's not in the Google Max. Dirt? Is, He's getting dirty up in here. Dirt! The ants will love that. Mud? Yeah. Mud! Rocks? Rocks. Yep, rocks. Worms? Worms! Yeah, half of this dish is actually. Try this! Moving on, we're moving on to the Atomic Empire Buzz Pro references. Here's my favorite moments. What's <laughs> something, really bitch? Weird. But yeah, moving on from that. Yeah, you see here, he destroyed everyone. And he actually, he actually got defeated. And I don't want to spoil this video, but we're moving on. Yeah, next up is History of Portland. Here's my favorite moment. Oh! Oh! Oh, yeah! <laughs> no, he's the king! He's the king! <laughs> Wait. Yeah, but he did, he got stabbed, and then he died. Oh! <laughs> he's the king! He's not the king! Wait a minute. Then the only way to do it is to win. 
next up, we're going to check out some of the science of uh, Mario's new Final Smash is in Project M. So let's get started. You may have remembered this one. <laughs> Opponents. In this <laughs> but yeah, moving on from about the physics of if Donkey Kong had hard mode. So let's get started. He can climb here. And moving on from this. <laughs> But trust me, it's worth it. Now, for some reason, Skip the Tutorial is gonna explain to you how to make an X-ray level. Yep, an X-ray level. And I'll let him explain. The game in some really nifty ways. All we need to do is make sure to go through the door right as we power up. And then hold on through until, suddenly, the whole world shifts around us. Firstly, make sure not to have any blocks boxing us in in the bottom corner. But yeah, after that, your eyes aren't playing tricks. The world really did change back to the ground theme. Although, all properties from the previous stage do stay the same. I mean, we can do things like swim without water, give a ghost house spotlight, or even have the moon during the day. While it takes some practice to pull off, this can definitely be one of the most robust game breaks in Mario Maker. Oh yeah, and make sure not to do this in Maker mode. Otherwise, you'll just crash the game straight up. Number 11. Yeah, so that was the X-Ray. We are moving on to the last two, which is the history of Estona. <laughs> so, like so, but moving on. And now. A musical number. Next up, we are also gonna in the last one, we're also gonna also gonna do World War Two in Europe, but it's the parallel references. You may have remembered more keys, why is everything in two X speed? Well I wanted to try something new because I'm very decisively knowing that you guys are watching this video are actually thinking about this. But yeah, I decided to do something new. But moving on! We're moving on to my the most funniest moment, so let's get started. Marquis, how you gonna end the video? Well, you may have remembered up, down, and learn about his story. Also, there are some pretty accurate stuff in there in the video, so yeah, moving on from that. 